Et voilà, de retour en 1986. Hey, anyone home? There's something wrong with my key. Please, not now. Tomorrow. Give me another day. What's going on, Dad? Did you change the locks or something? Marty? No, that's impossible. Marty was run out of town. I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh oh, que se passe-t-il? Encore des distorsions espace-temps, comme vous vous en doutez. Mais que s'est-il passé? You just saw me last night, Dad. Don't you remember Doc's estate sale, the DeLorean? This is a trick. Go away. Leave us alone. Haven't we suffered enough? Mom. Get Jennifer on the phone. She'll recognize my voice. Jennifer? Jennifer who? Jennifer Parker, my girlfriend. I don't know who you're talking about. How can I convince you? Tell me something. Only Marty would know. Ah. The first time he kissed Mom it was at the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. That's right. Oh my lord, what are you waiting for, George? Let him in! Stupid locks. Marty! Oh my god, Dad. What, what happened to you? What do you think happened, butthead? Biff! I thought we told you to stay out of town, shrimp. Biff, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can handle it. Reasonably. Who are they? Eh, like you don't know Cliff and Riff. What do you think we should do with them, baby bro? What we should have done years ago, big bro. I'm gonna enjoy this, McFly. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm trying to process here. Voilà, comme vous pouvez le voir, Biff se retrouve avec deux frères. Donc il s'est vraiment passé beaucoup de choses. Where do these other tannins come from? From a mommy tannin and a daddy tannin. It's called the birds and the bugs, butthead. Ooh. Biff! So now the tannins are some kind of minor league mafia? Hey, watch who you're calling minor league. The tannin gang's the fifth most dangerous crime family in California. We got connections all over the place. No way. You don't believe me? Ben, no! Bang! Ha <laughs> ha! Check it out! To your family from mine, in gratitude for your continued service, J.J. Valenti. That's Don Valenti, godfather of the Sacramento mob. The third most dangerous crime family in California. Ooh. Okay, but... What happened to you? When I left here, you were kind of afraid, my dad. Afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no Tannen ain't never been afraid of no McFly. Ooh. One more question. What the hell did you do to my dad? Your dad's been in that wheelchair since before you were born, butthead. And you better hope he has a spare, cause you're gonna need one in like three seconds. Okay, tell me no this. No more questions. Ooh. I got a question. Why are you guys so pissed at me? You don't remember? You've really lost it, McFly. Think back. The thing with the manure truck. Which one? <laughs> Il y en a tellement eu avec les tannins. Ouf. And another thing. When did I get run out of town? Two years ago. Don't you remember? We made a deal that we'd go easier on your old man if you left. But now you're back. So the kid gloves can come off. Oof. And another thing. What are you guys doing here anyway? It's 
It's that time of the month. Time for Georgie to pay up. We usually take the payment in cash, but this month we can take it out of your hide. Ah, ils ont dit Georg Georgie. Donc c'est un petit peu dans, le, dans la même dans la même lignée que Arty et Aini. Ouf. And another thing. Look, can we bury the hatchet already? Even better idea. I bury this nine iron up your backside. Ugh. Tell me. How long have you been coming down to my dad like this? Ever since that school dance, when Georgie laid Biff out in the parking lot. Uh, shut up, it's not funny. Someone messes with the Tannen family, the Tannen family never lets him forget about it. Oh. Here's what I still don't understand. Tu ne peux pas t'en prendre à quelqu'un d'autre. Why can't you pick on somebody else? We do. We pick on lots of guys. It's kind of our thing. Here's what I still don't understand. À propos de maman. Transfert de crétin. What about my mom? I mean, how did she end up with my dad? Beats us. Guess she has a thing for losers. She could have had any one of us, but she went for old Gimpy McFly. Okay, tell me no this. No more questions. Bon voilà, je suis désolé pour le temps que ça a pris, mais bon, euh, je trouvais que c'était important de de faire en sorte que vous compreniez un peu ce qui s'est passé, hein, ce que euh, ce que notre voyage dans le temps a eu comme conséquence. Donc on va en finir pour de bon. Voilà les gros crétins. Tiens, on va emporter un souvenir au passage. Piece of cake. Voilà. I never should have let that floozy talk me out of rubbing out your grandfather. Huh? Kid? No one in Hill Valley messes with the Tannen family. Dad! Marty, get in! This timeline's been compromised! No kidding! Yep. Let's go. Somehow, something we did in 1931 allowed Kid Tan to escape his date with justice. As a consequence, the Tannins have been unchecked in Hill Valley for over 50 years. Ah, jeez, they robbed the arcade? We've got to go back to the day Kid Tannin was supposed to be arrested. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Otherwise, you could be forever stuck in a town owned by the Tannins. Not an option, Doc. Punch it. Et on retourne en 1931, encore une fois. Donc il va falloir arranger nos erreurs. Ok, Doc, let's run through this again. Sometime tonight, Kid Tannen is supposed to be betrayed by his mole, the singer named Pixie Trotter. That hot babe I saw coming out of the speakeasy. Exactly. When she does, history says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. Parker? Parker? Hey, do you think he's related to Jennifer Parker? My girlfriend? Could be. Heavy. In any event, somehow we've changed history so that neither of these events happens. Condemning your family to generations of abuse at the hands of a Tannen crime family. We need to go back into Tannen speakeasy, find out what's gone wrong, and get Kid Tannen arrested. No problem, Doc. Let me just put on my hat and I'm good to go. Is the mustache really necessary? It's essential. You can't let Kid know that you're the same troublemaker that foiled his attempt to kill me. Are you sure you can't come in with me? It's far too dangerous. 
Detective, you may be easy to disguise with your nondescript features, but ever since my daring escape from the police and the mob, my distinctive face has been plastered over every paper from here to Reno. Nondescript? I'll find a safe place to hunker down. That flop house ought to fit the bill. You can find me there if you need me. Euh, oui, euh, je suis en train de me rappeler de quelque chose. Il y a un dialogue essentiel que j'ai oublié de vous faire écouter dans le dans le, dans l'ancien, euh, enfin, dans la première partie euh, du walkthrough, c'est-à-dire l'épisode 1, It's About Time. Il y a un dialogue que je voulais vous faire écouter, c'était un avec Doc pendant qu'il était en prison. Oui, il nous disait, euh, il nous expliquait un peu le système de, de récupération automatique de la DeLorean, parce que c'est quand même un, un lien manquant, et peut-être que vous posez la question, comment que ça se fait qu'il y a eu une nouvelle DeLorean alors qu'elle a été détruite à la fin du troisième film Bon, bah tout simplement parce que au moment où la foudre a touché la DeLorean dans le troisième film, il y a eu une copie de cette DeLorean qui s'est matérialisée, et qui a été envoyé en l'an 2000... 2025 si je... ou 2020, un truc dans le genre, c'est entre 2025 et 2020, je sais plus, mais enfin c'est quelque chose dans le genre. Et donc, euh, bah, c'est ici que, que Doc a ré... retrouvé la DeLorean par hasard, alors que Griff allait la prendre et foutre le bordel, donc euh, Doc est vraiment intervenu à temps. Voilà, c'est juste une petite anecdote important pour pas que vous pensiez que c'est une erreur, enfin qu'il n'y a pas eu de... que les scénaristes n'ont rien prévu à ce sujet. Ils ont bien prévu quelque chose. Après, à vous de voir si c'est crédible ou pas. Hein. Je ne vais pas juger. Je vous remercie d'avoir regardé cette vidéo et à bientôt pour la suite du walkthrough de Retour vers le futur.